Well, now we're in some seriously familiar territory. We're in the Hall and Oates pile. How about that? Daryl Hall and John Oates, hey. There's one album that's called Abandoned Luncheonette. It was the second album that Daryl and I made on Atlantic Records. This year, it will be 50 years old, which is mind-blowing for me because at the time, I would, if someone would have said, hey, you're going to be talking about this record 50 years from now, I never would have believed them. One of the reasons I love it so much is because I learned so much in the process of making that record. It's a really special album for me, and the fact that it's uh, having its 50th anniversary is just uh, something to celebrate. Well, this has been a very successful shopping experience at Grimey, so here are my albums. Let's, let's take these bad boys out. Here's The Cure, and I picked it basically because it's my wife's favorite album. And uh, Led Zeppelin, House of the Holy. It doesn't get any more classic than that. One of the greatest records of all time. the band, highly influential to me and millions of others. This is a, another classic, which is a perfect, perfect recording. And let's see, and then we have the masterpiece. The great Joni Mitchell and Blue, which uh, my, in my opinion is of, of all her amazing albums, this is probably her, her masterpiece. But there's one more. There's one more missing. Let's see here. Um, ah, here it is. Yes. Area code 615.